Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. That's where we're filming today. This is a first. This is a, a new one. But um, a few subscribers requested this video in the comments. So here we are. I'm filming my nighttime skincare routine. I'm sorry that it did take me this long to film another skincare video, but today's the day. So Let's just kind of jump into it. I've already removed my makeup and brushed my teeth and all that fun stuff. And to remove my makeup today, I use one of these like Neutrogena face wipes um, because I was wearing waterproof mascara and these things are pretty good at removing waterproof makeup. So just an added step when I'm wearing like tougher makeup. Okay, so the first thing I always do is I put on this headband because it just kind of helps keep my hair out of my face and from my hair from getting wet and all this kind of stuff. And if you do want a video where I cover all of the products I use daily and like give a more in-depth review of all the products, I will link that video up above and you can go check that out. Tonight we're really just focusing on my nighttime routine that I do every single night. So first step is this oil-based cleanser and this is the Vanilla Co. Um, Clean at Zero Cleansing Balm. That is the first step of the traditional 10-step Korean skincare routine. I'm actually almost done this one, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon, but that's what it looks like on the inside. And it comes with this little spatula thing, so I'm just going to get in here and take about that much. And then just gonna kind of spread it out over my face, make sure I get it all off the spatula. But yeah, so once it's on, and I wash my hands before doing this, by the way, and I recommend you do as well, you're just gonna kind of rub it in. And the oil-based cleanser is super important as a first step because it's the best cleanser or type of cleanser to break down makeup, sunscreen, and all the like tougher stuff we're wearing. So just use your fingers to really like massage it in. It doesn't need to be too hard or anything, um, but you just wanna and do these little circles to get it everywhere. Eyes also, cause it'll take off any of the, it'll take off any of the extra mascara I was wearing today. Okay, then warm water. So I just wet my hands with some warm water. Now I'm adding it in the same motion. You can see it kind of gets a little bit white, like foams up a little bit. And that's just because it's the water and oil mixing and it's starting to break down the oil. And then once you've done the emulsification step that we just did of mixing water and oil, you rinse it off with warm water. I'll be right back. Now I go in with my water-based cleanser and I use the Causerex Good Morning Low pH Cleanser. I love this cleanser. So about that much. And then same motion as with the oil one, just little circles all over your face. And the water-based cleanser is important because it helps remove any of the remaining oil-based cleanser. And then it is good for just like the regular sweat and gunk on your face from every day. And you can see this one foams up, which I really like. Okay, warm water, be right back. Okay, once you've rinsed your face, take a hand towel and just pat, pat dry. All right, and it is important to use a face cloth that is dedicated for your face and only your face. And I change, honestly, I change this out every two days, basically, two to three days, because I'm washing my face twice a day, and water, just bacteria, not a good mix. Okay, now your skin should feel, honestly, awesome. It does not feel drying. These cleansers are great. So the next step is to go in with the toner. And I use the Sun and Park Beauty Water. 
And in my last skincare video, I spoke about how incredible this toner is. It is the MVP of all the beauty products. It cleanses, it exfoliates, it hydrates, it just does it all. So I put a little bit of this on um, like a cotton pad or something. I have these reusable cotton pads that like you can wash and they're awesome. So just put a little bit to wet the cotton pad. Really see here? But anyways, wet the cotton pad, then just smooth over your face. neck now rule of thumb when you're applying these products after cleansing is you're supposed to do thinnest consistency to thickest so the toner is basically water that's the first thing you do after cleansing if i was exfoliating tonight which i am not i would have exfoliated between cleansing and toning after the toner we do the essence or face mask because a face mask the one I use anyways is also an essence. If I were using the essence, this is the one I'd be using. It's the Cosrx Snail Power Essence. Uh, this thing is incredible and I'm like halfway done. You can see that's how much I love it. I use it every morning and then every night unless I'm doing a mask. And tonight I'm gonna do a mask so I can show you what that is like. So tonight I'm gonna do one of my MediHeal Tea Tree masks. And I spoke about this in my first video, but I've recently started rotating in this collagen one, also from MediHeal. I like this a lot. Collagen's really good for firming. Um, so I've started mixing this one in. Tea tree is really good for like redness, breakouts, just to calm and soothe your skin. So I used the collagen one a few days ago. Today we're going with the tea tree because I do have a few breakouts kind of starting down here. So, rip the package open. And what I like to do is before I even take the mask out, you squeeze some of the extra essence out and put that on your face first. So, just like put it everywhere because it'll start absorbing and then you'll put the mask on which will then help it absorb even more. And the whole point of the sheet masks, these face masks, is that the sheet helps keep the essence locked in so it does not evaporate into the air. Fun fact. Then take the mask out and unfold it. it can be a little tricky to unfold, I won't lie. So you unfold it, it kind of looks like this and then try and get it as smooth as possible. Line it up with your face and kind of unfold. I'm literally just using my camera LCD screen right now to line this up. <laughs> so this is a little bit more challenging than normal. The other thing you can do with these masks, if you find your face is like, let's say a little bit sunburnt or puffy, anything like that, you can throw them in the fridge, leave them in the fridge, and then take them out of the fridge when you use them and they'll be nice and cold and just help soothe your skin even more. Okay, this is a little bit off center here, but okay. Not the cutest look, that's for sure but worth it. Just keep pressing it in until it's as smooth as possible. And I will just warn you that when I started using these, it took me forever and it was all crooked and wrinkled and just like not, not what you wanted. But you get better over time. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I could play with it all night. But you put the mask on, and then you just kind of chill for 15 to 20 minutes. I'll usually go watch TV or read, lay in bed, something like that, set an alarm. It's important not to go longer than 20 minutes because 
After 20 minutes, the mask itself, like the sheet, has started to dry out, in which case the dry, like, cotton is now pulling the moisture out of your skin. So it's the opposite of what we want. So you need to leave it on just until basically it's about to start drying, but hasn't actually started drying, which usually takes 15 to 20 minutes. And then you would take it off. I'm just now gonna peel it off and I like going from the bottom up. And then you'll definitely still feel the essence. I just like to kind of tap it in, help it absorb. And the face mask is not a daily thing. Um, it is, I try to do them like twice a week. It is very dry right now with the cold winter, so I might do them three times to help with some extra hydration. Now, after the face mask, it is eye cream. And so the cream I'm using is by Etude House. It is their Moistful Collagen Eye Cream. This is my favorite eye cream. I wanna say in the world, but I have not tried all of them in the world. It is, but it is one of my favorite ones. And I'm almost done this one as well. You can kinda see. So using my ring finger, just take some about that much and tap it on. And I swear there's like not really a cute way of putting on <laughs> eye cream, but just get it all over. Ring finger, same thing on the other side. And I do above my eye too, the orbital bone. Now another question I always get is like how long do you have to wait in between steps? Like you have to wait for the toner to dry before you move on to the essence and that sort of stuff. And the answer honestly is no. Like just keep layering it on. It's going to absorb all of it. Your skin's like a sponge. So it'll just keep getting wetter and wetter and wetter. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. The only steps I do wait between is in the morning after I put on my moisturizer before putting on sunscreen. So I'll do the moisturizer. Moisturizer is the ninth step. Let that sink in, let that soak in, go make coffee or something, and then I'll come back and put my sunscreen on. Now, moisturizer for the rest of my face. And I use this Neogen um, Times Joan Day, who is a YouTuber. I highly recommend you watch. Um, this is her collab with Neogen. Neogen on its own is a brand I love and use skincare products for. I use their exfoliating pads. Um, but yeah, this cream is awesome. The purple is the night cream, but she also has a day cream that is green. That's the day cream. Um, and it's great. This comes with lavender and vitamin E and it's strengthening and hydrating night cream. Uh, I'm almost done this too. I really need to reload on some products. So you can see the night cream, it is like light and hydrating. It doesn't feel like too creamy or heavy or anything like that. So I have another one of these little spatulas, the white one I use for my moisturizer. So I'll just take some of that, about that much. Again load it on and then all in there. Oh, I love the smell of the lavender. It like helps me get tired <laughs> for bed. But it's not too much or anything. It's just the right amount. Never forget your ears, I'm just saying. Okay, pat it. Okay, now that was the end of like the traditional skincare portion. But if you watch my first video, you might know what's coming next, lip care. And so this Laneige sleeping mask, it's the berry flavored, it's the OG one. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I cannot rave about this enough, but it's my favorite thing. This is a brand new one because I finally ran out of my other one. It's creamy. Put this on my lips every single, every single night, like without fault. 
and with this I definitely think more is better because it can do no wrong and it's just so soothing and you wake up and your lips are just so soft and smooth and they're wonderful. So this I cannot recommend enough. I also, now that it's winter and it's cold AF, I have another one of these by my desk. And so before a meeting or when I'm just like feeling my lips are a little chapped, I'll put some on now during the day as well. Last but not least, I like to put hand cream on every night. So this is the Glycemed hand cream. I don't know if it's anything special, honestly, but it's just using it for a while and it's good. So just put a little bit on and then rub your hands together. So that's pretty much my skincare routine every single night. And the mask again though is really only two times a week generally. The other thing I mentioned that I do two times a week but I did not do tonight is exfoliate. And for that, I use these Neogen Bio Peel pads. This is the wine flavored one, but they also have a green tea one and I think a lemon one as well. Anyways, these things are awesome. They come in a pack of like 30. It's like a large cotton pad and you just like rub it on your face to exfoliate and wipe off with warm water. All the products I mentioned today, I will add affiliate links for down below in the description. So you can go there to find them. And that's it. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below and have a great day. Take care. Bye. Good night, actually. <laughs>